As World War II came to a close, troops making their way across Europe encountered cities and towns filled with starving people. Scientists knew very little about the effects of starvation at the time, so men like Ansel Keys at the University of Minnesota rose to the task of learning more about how starvation impacts the body and mind to devise the most effective rehabilitation strategy. In 1944, Keyes enlisted the help of 36 healthy young men and designed an experiment to starve them. For three months, the men were fed 3,200 calories per day, followed by six months of starvation, where they were fed 1,800 calories per day. The goal was for each man to lose about 25% of his initial body weight. The men were also expected to exercise, walking a mandatory 22 miles a week. They were subjected to rigorous tests and measurements so that the scientists could gather data about their physical, mental, and emotional states. The effects of starvation on the participants were astounding. Physically, the men began to appear gaunt with sunken faces and protruding ribs. Their extremities were filled with extra fluid or edema. A few started losing their hair. Their energy levels dropped and they experienced dizziness, loss of coordination, and even ringing in their ears. The men's interest in women and their sex drive all but disappeared. A few developed depression, despite never having experienced those feelings before. Perhaps most interesting of all were the men's behavioral changes. Despite lacking disordered eating habits before the study, all of the men became absolutely obsessed with food. Eating became a ritual. Some would water their food down so it would take longer to eat. Others would simply lick their plates clean. Some men collected volumes of cookbooks and found pleasure in watching other people eat. They became increasingly irritable and moody, often lashing out at each other at mealtime. Rehabilitation proved to be the most difficult part of the experiment for some. For three months, the men were prescribed diets that slowly increased their calories. For many, their weight actually continued to drop despite eating more food. The men reported continuing to feel dizzy, apathetic, tired, and most of all, incessantly hungry. Even after rehabilitation, most men reported not feeling back to normal. Some men stated that it took up to two years to fully recover, physically and mentally, from the six months of starvation they endured. Follow-up studies showed that the men weighed more and had more body fat on average than before the experiment. A few men expressed concern about their post-rehabilitation bodies and weight distribution, stating they felt much fatter than they did at the start. The Minnesota Starvation Study informed scientists about the various effects of starvation on the body. Much of what we understand about eating disorders today can be tied back to the results of this study. We know now that starvation, whether voluntary or involuntary, is extremely taxing on the physical and emotional self. We also know that even people who are at a healthy weight and not inclined towards disordered eating become obsessed with food and eating when they are deprived of adequate nourishment or subjected to restricted eating. If you or someone you know is struggling with disordered eating, it's important to consult a registered dietitian or a therapist to get help with recover as soon as possible.